Police are investigating another shooting at one of Hamilton's tent encampments that left one man seriously injured and another charged with attempted murder. It's the second shooting in three weeks and the third violent attack at an encampment this summer. Al Sweeney reports. The shooting happened at about 8.40 last night in Montgomery Park in East End Hamilton. Ba-bam, ba-bam. Yeah. I don't know if it was two or three. Glenn Serjanik heard the shots. I heard uh, what I thought were fireworks, but uh, apparently there were gunshots. And then the police were at the end of the street. Police say two officers happened to be nearby. They heard gunshots uh, coming from the area of the park. Um, they quickly uh, attended this park, and as they were getting uh, into the park, they observed two people fleeing uh, shortly after hearing the sounds of uh, gunshots and a male screaming. Police seized a handgun and arrested one suspect, identified as 41-year-old Brian Kirpan of Hamilton. He's currently under arrest and will be charged with attempted murder with a firearm and numerous firearm offenses. They were still looking for a woman who ran off, and police found a 35-year-old man who had been shot multiple times but is in stable condition. Neighbors tell us the man who was shot lived in a tent that was right here. Police seized the tent overnight as evidence, but it appears a few items remain. Residents of the area say they feel bad for the homeless people, but they're worried about safety. This is a playground for kids to be able to play, to come home from school, or have fun with their friends. It's not safe for the children. We're not insensitive to the needs of the homeless, but. I don't think a park is a place for tents and, and what goes on with it. This shooting follows a stabbing in one of the city's encampments in July, then a shooting in August. Area Councillor Tammy Wang visited the people in Montgomery Park after this shooting and says the city is focused on bringing the homelessness crisis to an end. Violence is unacceptable anywhere in the city, and this is yet another example of violence within our city. The unfortunate aspect is that it's in a very safe neighborhood, and Ward 4 feels like very unsafe right now. We want to ensure that what we're doing is we're building housing at the end of all of this because that's how we solve homelessness is housing. Police can't say what led to this latest shooting. Al Sweeney, CHCH News.